There is no doubt that life in the Central American country of Honduras is a daily challenge for the nation's 8 million residents. Integral to both the urban and rural economies, working horses are heavily depended upon in remote communities for transporting people and goods between isolated villages, whilst others are used in agriculture. World Horse Welfare is working in Honduras to improve the lives of the country's 130,000 working horses, focusing its initial efforts in San Pedro Sula, the country's second largest city. The 3,000 working horses of San Pedro Sula work long hours in extreme temperatures, collecting rubbish from households, often without food, water or rest. With children as young as 10 years of age hiring and driving these cart horses to earn money, life in this community offers little sanctuary for horses and their families, who continue to work in poor conditions trying to make ends meet. Heavy demands are placed upon other working horses that pull carts loaded with fresh produce for their owners to sell in communities where people are unable to reach the market. Challenging road conditions and heavy carts add extra burdens to these horses as they head off for a hard day's work. Injuries are common. Many harnesses are homemade, with owners using any materials they can find, including rope, chains and nylon webbing. It's okay if we take the Poorly designed saddle trees carrying heavy loads lead to horrific sores. The rudimentary saddle tree, as you can see, is going to put downward pressure on the top of the spine and cause this type of injury. Prolonged use has, has, um, has caused this, um, but when it is infected as well, which is often the case with open, open wounds like this, it just becomes a much bigger problem. Sadly, harness problems and overloaded carts are not the only causes for concern. Okay, now we are in San Pedro Sula, in a Robinson place, and we found this, this horse. It's a foal horse, it's about two years old, and we found a very serious problem. This area, this joint is swelly, it's because it's too young, and now the direction of the, of the bones is twisted and it's a very serious problem for this horse. I think the, these guys tell us uh, uh, they start to use this horse for the last uh, three months. In three months, that's it. And this is one of the biggest problems in, in San Pedro Sula. The people start to use the horses too young. And in August 2010, World Horse Welfare launched a five-year training program. With the 20 students recruited from around Honduras keen to advance their skills and make a real difference in their communities, the team set to work to improve the situation. Working under the guidance of saddlery instructor Stuart Russell and Mexican assistant instructors, who themselves have a great understanding of regional issues, saddlery students are being taught to make harness and tack and also to repair existing items for owners who are unable to afford new equipment. The working horses are, are always going to be here in these, these type of communities and the, the kind of guys we're targeting that, that come from those communities can see the benefit of the work we're aiming to achieve in this particular course. Right from the very beginning, I want to get them to, to know how to recognise injuries early enough. Um, so we, we're trying to cut out the problem before it gets too bad, so prevention is better than cure. Um, and recognising that, the skills they're using in the, in the, in the workshop is uh, obviously so important, but how that links in with talking to horse owners and communicating with them why, why that's a good thing for uh, preserving the well-being of that, of that horse. Local farriers in Honduras spend little time preparing the foot prior to shoeing, which means associated problems are commonly unidentified. Over long periods of time, untreated conditions such as abscesses and thrush subsequently cause unnecessary lameness amongst the working horse population. During their training, World Horse Welfare farriery students are taught how to shoe horses correctly so that they are able to return to their communities equipped with the skills and knowledge required to provide essential farriery services. When we start these kind of courses, it's very important to, to speak with the guys, explain uh, and teach about the basic anatomy and the basic physiology of the different parts of the hoof and the limb. In that way, the students uh, start to understand 
how important it is to maintain in good condition or uh, healthy hooves in this case. It's very important for the horses. We teach them about how they need to use these tools. Uh, after that, they start to work with the horses directly and uh, using uh, this uh, new technique, uh, I think it's very, very important if we start to have a good result. I'm very happy that's something new for this country because it's, it's, very, it's very rare to be here having uh, good farriers, uh, studied farriers. The students' understanding of how they can use their newfound knowledge to help working horses is vital. But they also have a part to play in educating working horse owners in the best way to care for their animals. I understand it's not easier to try to change uh, the culture of the people in a very short time. We need to work together with the students, but it's very important to work with the owners too. The students, they have a proper knowledge, proper skills, but need to start uh, again to speak with the owners. Sometimes the owners is very difficult, uh, and uh, this is the reason why for us it's very important to, have, to, to teach properly all these people, and they, uh, they need to take a proper skills, a, a proper knowledge. In that way, I think we can see uh, a proper chain in maybe in a very short time. World Horse Welfare aims to teach 10 saddlery students and 10 farriery students each year over the five-year lifetime of the course in the skills needed to make a difference to the lives of the working horses of Honduras. With an understanding that they can make a difference, the work these students will undertake over their lifetime will hopefully impact upon thousands of horses and leave a lasting legacy of care with the next generation of horse owners. I, I think we are the, the change in, in horses' life here in Honduras and we got to make everything right for the health of horses and and uh, a quality life for these wonderful animals.